Okay. Um, I've created a really neat little chart here. I call this the chart to fight the stupid. And there's a lot of stupid out there. I mean, a lot. <laughs> um, this and a bunch of other charts and stuff will be forming the basis of an article. I'm going to open up a blog spot soon. I've um, already got it, actually. And then uh, use those as the basis of the article for the website. I've had to perfect a lot of stuff. But anyway, let's get to it. These are the, uh, this little uh, ditty is a copyright of mine, but uh, feel free to use it and spread it around anywhere you want. You'll find in this uh, a lot of the stuff that people, A, don't understand, or people, typically people say the opposite of this, especially on the cockroach forums, or as I call them, the roach motels, which are like uh, internet photography forums, where people spread and respread misinformation, nonsense, twaddle, unicorn farts, and uh, pixie dust. Um, let's start off with number one. Exposure is gain in time, meaning aperture and shutter. There's usually not much argument there. Um, people wrongly think that uh, ISO has something to do with exposure. It doesn't. I made a bunch of videos about that earlier in the year, and even the people that wanted to debate me about it, I debated them back, and most of them conceded. It's like, yeah, you're right, I had no idea the exposure had nothing, I mean, excuse me, that ISO really had nothing to do with exposure. It's like, that's right, which uh, leads to number two. ISO is not part of the exposure triangle, okay? It's applied gain, not exposure. The true exposure triangle is gain, time, and light, or specifically, actually, it's gain, time, and uh, SNR, signal-to-noise ratio. Let's uh, quickly uh, jump over here, if we can, to... Uh, another little diagram that I created. I've got the links for these diagrams uh, below and uh, this is the true exposure uh, triangle SNR, i.e. illumination, uh, gain, and time. I'll let you take a look at that one. ISO is applied gain. ISO has absolutely no connection to exposure only to uh, the ability and the allowance for you to manipulate aperture and shutter. So people have always been taught that ISO Back in the day, this isn't the days of film anymore, again, okay? we're not talking about film grain ISO here. ISO is a not native gain, and let's get to that other one here in a second. Each and every lens on Earth ever made dumps out the exact same light. Depth of field, illumination density, everything. The exact same light, regardless of what is underneath it irrespective of what is underneath it, okay? <laughs> Sometimes when you say stupid or crazy things, people remember it better. Let's say that there's a toilet. It's like a whole... They used to have, like, in England, some of the privies of the rich people. There would be holes over top of little ledges, okay? And it's not, <laughs> it doesn't matter what at, what is underneath there. It's coming out the same, Okay? <laughs> yeah, I know it's a bit crazy, right? Anyway, every lens on Earth ever dumps out the same light, respective, irrespective of what's underneath it. I mean, I could take a Nikon lens and modify it, a full-frame Nikon lens and modify it, and stick a Fuji crop sensor underneath it, or an Olympus Micro Four Thirty. It doesn't matter. That lens dumps the same damn light. It doesn't know. It doesn't care. It has no idea what's underneath it. Okay. Number four, exposure is per unit area. Technically, it's lux seconds. Exposure is per unit area, not the total area, i.e. sensor size, okay? Exposure has nothing to do with total size. Bigger sensors don't get... Let's we'll get on to that in a second. Number five, by the way, there are ten of these, kind of like the Ten Commandments. These are the Ten Commandments to fight, to fight the stupid that is everywhere. Lo, behold, I bring you the Ten Commandments. Let's, 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 I'd love to have anybody try to refute any of these ten. Any of them. Try. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Go ahead. Try it. <laughs> try it. Bigger full frame sensors do not capture more light as implied in exposure. Sure they do. They're bigger sensors. Now, 
You know, it's not like water jugs. It's like, oh my God, we've only got a, ha a half a gallon of milk left. And, uh, you know, go out and buy another gallon. That's, that's total volume. You know, something like a bigger picture window lets in more light. It's like, well, sure it does. You know, a sensor's got to be the same way as a picture window. Now, if this uh, screen were a sensor and this smaller square were a sensor, the uh, photo site here has uh, no care whatsoever about there being more photo sites on the periphery. Exposure is per unit area. Bigger full frame sensors do not capture more light exposure using the same lens and the same exposure as a DX camera. Neither does crossing the border into the larger state of Connecticut from the teeny little state of Rhode Island result in more light falling on your head. It's like, imagine someone driving from Rhode Island and then they cross the border into Connecticut, which is a much larger state, and all of a sudden, sudden the sun gets really bright. Wow! <laughs> that doesn't happen. <laughs> Exposures per unit area. Okay, Full-frame sensors do not capture more light. Let's repeat that twice again. Full-frame sensors do not capture more light. Sure they do. They're bigger. Exposures per unit area, not per total area. Okay? It's not like a, you know, a, a gallon of milk is better than a half a gallon. Sensors don't work that way. <laughs> oh my god. You know, if you put out a big bucket and a little bucket out in the rain, um, the larger bucket will gather more total water. But if you stick your finger in the big bucket versus the small bucket, you'll notice that they both have an inch of rain in them. There's an inch of rain in the big bucket, and there's an inch of rain in the small bucket. The fact that you've captured more total light has nothing to do with the bleeping effing exposure. Nothing. Zip, zilt, zero, nada. Okay? Yeah, why don't you try to fight me on that one? Less native noise, i.e. signal-to-noise ratio, captured on a full-frame sensor is due to pixel pitch or photo site size. This is number six. Also, the sensor design and the micro lens design. I mean, it could be like a Fovian sensor, a bear array, an X trans array, you know. Uh, the micro lens designs, there's a lot of those. That's the native efficiency of the sensor. But, you know, native noise has to do with uh, people say, well, there's better dynamic range in a full frame sensor. That means because it's larger, it's capturing more light. No, it has to do with the big ass photo sites, typically, not always on full-frame sensors. Um, in many of the cases now, the newer full-frame sensors have DX pixel pitches on them, little tiny photo sites, like the Canon 5DSR. Okay? Number seven, noise, or signal-to-noise ratio, whether it's one-to-one -one or one-to-four, or whatever it is, is defined by two things, with aperture, shutter speed, and the lens being equal across the board, okay? Noise is defined by two things, native gain, and signal processing. Native gain stops at the sensor. You got your shutter speed, your aperture, and your sensor. Native gain stops right there. Signal processing, 80 converters, SNR firmware. Okay. A camera, number eight. A camera is not a sensor, it's an image processor. Gee. That might be the reason why, since the Nikon D3 and the D700 have the same damn sensor, they have radically different output. Might also be the reason why the Nikon D600, D610, and D750 have the same damn sensor, but radically different output, radically different sensitivities to low light. Camera is not a sensor. Okay, It's an image processor. You feel me, girl? Number nine. <laughs> what is captured, or native gain, ends at the sensor. What is placed on your SD card, for example, is what is processed. So there's captured, and then there's processed. Okay? None of you out there, including any of the idiots on any of these forums, or, you know, any of these testing places that test lenses and cameras, the only people that are actually ta able to, to uh, test uh, what is actually captured at the sensor before it's processed and AD converter, the only people that can do that are the manufacturers. Only people that can do that. Only. None of these big sites that test, like a DXO, these people do not test the output of, like, say, a lens and a sensor. What happens right at the 
right at the sensor, even before uh, applied gain occurs, i.e. ISO. None of them can test that. The only people that can test that are the damn manufacturers. Okay? Nobody else can test that. Basically everybody, meaning everybody. Nobody can test it. Number 10, native exposure and processed exposure equal camera exposure. Oh, yes. All you people out there, including all these testing places, we only test camera exposure. People think, oh, this new camera it must be an improved sensor. No, it's just got better algorithms in there for processing the image signal, which is digital. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, lo and behold, I give you these ten commandments. I, I mean these ten hardcore, irrefutable, undeniable facts and laws of photography. Copyright myself, October 2016. Use them as you wish. Spread them around. Post them anywhere you want. Give free permission to do whatever you want. I would love, love to see anybody try to refute any of these tins. You're never gonna do it. <laughs> you're, never, you're not gonna pull that bunny out of your backside. It's not gonna happen. But feel free, feel free to use this uh, chart against all the stupid that's out. Use it as a shield against the stupidity of photography forums and other knuckleheads, dimwits, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Crotch crickets, toilet bugs. Um, <laughs> yeah. If you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two. Or you can tell me to jump off a cliff. Or go stick it somewhere. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever tickles your pickle. Okay? But you're not going to deny anything in this list of ten. So, here, behold, here they are. Thanks for watching. Bye. Ha 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 ha! Oh my god.